My reflection on this Tuesday of Holy Week has to do with the experience of Jesus. And as I said yesterday, his experience was one which moved from darkness to greater light. Today in the gospel story, the darkness continues. The gospel reading for today is about the betrayal of Jesus by Judas Iscariot. Recall that Judas was hand chosen by Jesus to be one of his closest followers. Even more than that, Jesus entrusted Judas with the care of the, the money, the care of the purse. And so he had a, a position of importance among the disciples. And we can be sure that Jesus was counting on Judas to carry his message forward after he was gone. And yet Judas betrayed him. And so I can only imagine Jesus feelings upon being betrayed by one of his closest friends, one of his closest disciples. The broken trust that Judas brought about must have made Jesus feel vulnerable and must also have made him feel alone and wonder who might be with him, who might actually be on his side. We know that later on in the Agony in the garden, Jesus will actually say, Father, take let this cup pass me by. And on the cross, he will say, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And so this betrayal must have created in Jesus feelings of hurt, of vulnerability, of broken trust. 